The tourism sector obviously hit hard in Queensland during the pandemic, but some good news on the Gold Coast. In fact, the first major tourism project in more than a decade there, jointly funded by local and state governments. The biggest floating crane in the country anchored off the Gold Coast. Its mission, lowering these to the sea floor. The pyramid structures will secure nine sculptural reef flutes to the ocean floor. It's specifically... Designed to attract uh, marine life and, uh, and that's the essence of it. Wonder Reef is the first major tourism attraction to the Gold Coast in more than a decade. To try and diversify the type of tourism experience we have in this city. These artworks are buoyant in the water so I wanted to make something that echoed that sense of buoyancy, something that was uplifting. As tall as a four-storey building, each one weighing more than 840 tonnes. It's quite enormous. The real kicker, they're hollow, meaning they float. This is the first uh, man-made uh, such structure designed for the dive site in the world. And uh, the way it twirls, the way it will uh, entice and grow marine life. The world first purpose built buoyant reef is expected to bring $32 million to the Gold Coast over the next 10 years and attract 160,000 new visitors. This is phase one, and it's just the beginning. We'll see how this goes, but I'd love to keep increasing it uh, with other, just like a theme park underwater. Of course the opportunity is there for contemplation of even further ideas and once this really gets up and running. The possibility of an underwater memorial garden has also been floated. But for now there's eight months of monitoring and testing before Wonder Reef opens to the public next year. Georgia Simpson, Sky News.